In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to wire up and use an RGB LED. If you haven't seen the previous video where we talk about how to use the regular LEDs, I would recommend watching that one first. Now, unlike these regular LEDs, uh, where the short lead is the ground and the longer lead is the positive one, the RGB LED is set up differently so that the longest lead is ground and you have a red, green, and blue lead here. Now I've attempted to draw the internals the same way as the previous video, so this looks a little bit backwards, but here's the longest lead and then you have red, green, and blue. Uh, these RGB LEDs are common cathode, meaning there is a common ground pin. You can also buy them in common anode, where this common pin will be positive instead. So you might think you would need six leads, but instead uh, we can just tie all of the ground leads together so that there is a common one and you have your red, green, and blue coming in this way. Obviously the common anode would be backwards with each of the LEDs flipped pointing the other way and these would be minus, and this would be positive. Uh, the three different colors, red, green, and blue, allow you to create yellow, magenta, and cyan, and white as well. Now, we won't be going over this in this tutorial, but you can vary the brightness for each of these to create a lot of different colors, as opposed to no, just the seven that you see here. Uh, this is called pulse width modulation and it involves turning on and off each of the elements very quickly to uh, gain an average voltage basically. So here you can see the blue is at 90 percent brightness, green at 50 and red at 10 percent. All right, so let's wire this up. For the sake of brevity, I've already got my wires on the board and the breadboard here. I've chosen to put the red lead on P1.1, the green on P1.2, and the blue on P1.3. And my ground wire is right here. So as you can see, I'll just put the RGB LED in the board, like so. I've already got a small program running, cycling through the different colors. These RGB LEDs are very bright, much brighter than the red ones, because we aren't using any resistors, but it should be okay for experimentation purposes. So let's go ahead and write some code. All right, open up your text editor. Again, I'll be using Sublime Text. Create a new file called rgb.c. Start by including the MSP430 header and open your main function. Again, we'll need to hold the watchdog timer so that it doesn't reset. And I'll also calibrate the CPU to one megahertz, even though this isn't really very necessary for what we'll be doing. Okay, we'll need to choose the P1.1, 2, and 3 pins as outputs. So in this case, this is P1.0, this is 1.1, 2, and 3. 
and we'll go ahead and turn them all on. Go ahead and save this. Navigate to that directory. See it's right here. And compile it with msp430-gcc. Don't forget to provide your architecture here. Well, I'll put it to rgp.elf and then provide your input file. And then go ahead and flash to the board with MSP debug RF2500 prog rgp.elf. Now, this code simply turns on each of the elements red, green, and blue, so it will just be white. We can change the color by Maybe turning off the green one. Go ahead and compile and reflash it, and it will be purple. Now, doing this is okay, but it might be a little bit easier to write our own function for this. So, let's create a function just called RGB, and we'll be providing it red green and blue parameters and we'll just be setting the p1 out register with red green and blue now I'm using some bit shifts here if you don't understand how this works uh, it's just going to take a 1 or 0 on any of these variables and then shift it to the correct position in the register and or them all together. So if you had them all on it would take the number one which in binary is is this one too many zeros here and it will shift it over one spot to look like that. It will do the same for green and blue and then it will or them together so in the end you'll have this and it will turn on each element. So to get some color going we can open up an infinite loop here and just call our function with the color that we'd like. and go ahead and delay cycles in between each one. I'll go ahead and provide it with one million again so it should change about once a second. So from here you just need to copy and paste this a couple times and then we can set the color each time. We'll go ahead and do red, yellow, uh, green, uh, cyan, blue, purple, and then we'll turn them all on. Go ahead and save and run this again. You can put two commands on the same line if you separate them by a semicolon. So I'll go ahead and put the line to flash to the board right next to it so that I can just do it in one command. And now your RGB LED should be cycling colors about once every second. And there you have it. It's a real simple way to use an RGB LED.